Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to talk to you today about this 2007 Mercedes-Benz C280. It's an elegance and it's done just 116,000 kilometres since it was brand new. It comes with a spare key and being an elegance it's got the very nice timber inserts, memory electric seats on the drivers and passenger side and the Harman Kardon sound system. Some other features included on the C280 series is navigation and Bluetooth. Some other extras on this particular car which were an option was the glass sunroof and xenon headlights. It's actually one of the first C280s I've seen with xenon headlights. It was a very expensive option at the time. It comes in metallic black with light grey leather interior and the Elegance have these beautiful multi-spoke alloy wheels. The Mercedes-Benz C-Class just seems to continuously win car of the year and that's because they're economical, reliable, they have good resale and they've got a number of different engines. So this particular car is a C280. However, in the overseas market, it was called a C300. The C280 actually has the 3 litre, 170 kilowatt engine, and was one of the first of the twin timing chain engines, which replaced the previous engine, which came out in the mid 90s. Because it's a Mercedes, it does have a spare wheel, and this particular car comes with a full size aluminium wheel, exactly the same as what's on the car already. It doesn't look like it's been on the car before. And the good thing about that is, you know, if you do park the car and you damage a wheel, when you reverse parking, you've got a spare one. Another extra on the C280 is the fact that it's got twin exhausts at the back, which may seem like something small, but I really do think it makes the car much more substantial. For a C-Class, it's got a lot of room in the back. We haven't moved the seats forward for the video or anything like that. And generally, whenever any manufacturer brings out a new model, they get bigger and bigger. We'll have a quick look at the logbook, because I think that's very important. And if you're looking at any second-hand car, it's one of the first things you should look at. What's surprising to me is some people come in, they look at a car, we go for a test drive, we spend a lot of time walking around looking at the condition, they don't even look at the logbook. It does have a spare key, I've said that twice because it's another question you should be asking the dealer. So it's done 116,000 kilometres. The last service was done at 106,000 kilometres. And before that it was done at 103,000 96,000, 88,000, 77,000, and you get the idea. It's been well serviced, this car. It's very nice to see. Because unfortunately, if you buy, if you look at a car, it may be cheap, but if it has not been well serviced, you can't go back in time and service it properly. It's either a good car or it's not. And we think this is a particularly good car. And I can speak from experience because I actually used to own a C280 from the same year. And there's lots of value out there for second-hand prestige cars. But to be able to buy a C280 with 116,000 kilometres for under $20,000 is remarkable. And it's also a good idea to find vehicles like this which have been optioned up because you don't pay more for a second-hand car, generally, if it's got some options. So this car might have seven to $10,000 worth of options, but they're generally worth what they're worth based on the year, kilometres, colour, and condition. I'm gonna start the car for you. It's nice and smooth. It's got automatic headlights. Automatic windscreen wipers, navigation, and it's Bluetooth compatible. So despite the fact that it's a 2007 model car, 
it probably has more features than a lot of cars that are only 12 months old. The glass sunroof was also a good option to have because again, you can get a sunroof fitted aftermarket, but they're just never as good as a one made in the factory. And if you have been looking at C-classes, there's many different models available. There's C200s, there's C220 diesels. But if you have not driven one, do yourself a favour and go and have a drive with a C280. I think you'll be very impressed. I can also tell you based on experience that the fuel consumption is very good. You may think, look, I want to get a 200, I don't want to spend the extra money on fuel. But because it's not working very hard, the fuel consumption is almost exactly the same as a C200 compressor. We're located in Markville, we're only 20 minutes from Sydney Airport, which is very good if you're interstate. We're also very close to Sydney City CDD. So if you are interstate and you see this car, it looks like a car that would suit your requirements. You can simply leave a deposit and we can send the car to you. Alternatively, if you do want to come and have a closer inspection, that's absolutely fine. If you do have any specific questions, please give us a call. We're contactable on 029569 You can speak to myself. My name is Philip Tarrant or Richard Simons and the business has been around for over 20 years. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video.